the parking area to Pariah View is closed for the winter, uh, as evidenced by this big snow mound that's blocking the road. But it's a short road, it's a short hike. So I'm gonna put the spikes on the boots and uh, gear up and, and walk on up to uh, where I'd normally drive and, and, and then walk out to, uh, to the viewpoint and take in sunset. closed and there's you know a hike before you get to the place where you do a hike on the trail to the prior view it's a natural inhibitor a lot of people are pulling in even as I was getting the spikes on the boots they're just pulling in circle around and continuing on with their visit to Bryce so I'm expecting few people to be up there it's always, it's always a treat for the landscape photographer, I think, especially when you're photographing some place as visited as Bryce, to have a spot that's kind of quiet, not necessarily alone, but just kind of quiet. Uh, that's, that's a nice, it's a nice, uh, nice treat. So I've walked the length of the trail of Pariah View along the rim here, and I like the introductory view the most because I can isolate the large hoodoo with the valley below, and it's not getting as lost in the other ones. So that becomes a very strong subject. And the, uh, the, the, the I guess, contrast in the sense of this towering hoodoo and then this very deep valley below, so this you get, the, you get the scale feeling of it, at least, you know, as much as you can without having something uh, recognizable in it. I mean, there's some trees out there, and so there's some sense that, uh, you know, a, a viewer can pick up on scale, but there's not you know, a person or a house or things like that out there. But I think I'm going to do a couple more test shots as I walk my way back up to the, the trailhead and then set up for, uh, for sunset. As I'm walking along the rim here, uh, it surprised me how quiet it is. You know, when I stop walking and I stop crunching, there's nothing. There's no animals, there's no birds, there's no other people right now. Occasionally, I'll hear a plane in the distance, and that's occasionally. That's actually what prompted me to realize how quiet it was for this distant jet engine. Uh, it is about as peaceful a place as I could think of. I am set up on this uh, introductory view, and I, I know that it sounds like a terrible term, you know, because it, it suggests there's more to see. Of course there's more to see, but the, the introductory, like the first thing you see when you come up over the ridge, uh, it's, it's fantastic. And I really like that I can separate the main hoodoo from the others with the valley behind it. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to set up on. I'm going to with a 24 to 105 lens give me the versatility so when the light changes I can reach in, get tight shots, I can be pulled back at 24, 25 millimeter. I'm getting everything in that I need, so uh, I'm really set to go, just waiting for the light to, uh, to get a little bit softer and uh, make those rocks become a little bit more orange. couple of other visitors and uh, the debate is this pariah view or paria view and it may be paria so i may have been saying it wrong this whole time i have about 15 minutes more of sunlight the valley itself has already gone into shadow which is great actually for the composition because the the, the monument the, the, the rocks the, are still lit they're they're bright they're orange it's a great color contrast with the shadows of the valley floor and so i'm just you know popping off a shot every few minutes as the light changes and it also you know, the shadows creep 
up from the valley floor. But, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful spot, and I, I'm really liking it here in winter. It's, uh, it's nice, it's quiet, uh, and the, the snow banks that fill in where the trail normally is, it kind of raises you up another foot, foot and a half. As long as you're careful, don't get too close to the guardrails. Uh, you get a, a little bit more of a, a downward angle, and you can see kind of over some of the things that would be in the foreground otherwise. That is a wrap. Uh, it certainly did not disappoint. I'm glad I didn't let a snowbank and a short hike get in the way of visiting this overlook. 